Assalamu alaikum our first topic is direct speech page number 25 so what is direct speech if a sentence is what's the matter asked sam sam ne kaha ki what is the matter sam ki kahi bhi baat direct speech hogi sam ne kaha what's the matter so this is the direct speech jo baat kisi ne kahi hoti hai as it is waise hi sentence hamare paas direct speech kehlata hai so this is the page of your book first we do exercise a in copy you don't have to write anything we just have to put the commas inverted commas so the first one is pass me the butter carol said her mother carol ki mother ne bola mujhe butter pass kar do pass me the butter carol so this is direct speech so we put inverted commas the second is would you like another cake asked mrs brown मिसिस ब्राउन ने बोला क्या आप और केक लेना पसंद करेंगे सो वी जस्ट पुट इनवर्टेड कॉमास इन डायरेक्ट स्पीच थर्ड वन इज दीज एग्स आर नॉट फ्रेश कंप्लेन द कस्टमर सो द डायरेक्ट स्पीच इज दीज एग्स आर नॉट फ्रेश सो वी पुट इनवर्टेड कॉमास नाउ कंप्लीट द होल एक्सरसाइज ए इन योर कॉपीज Our second topic is silent letters page number 26 of your book so what are the silent letters Some words can be hard to spell because they contain silent letters. कुछ word ऐसे होते हैं जो हम spell नहीं कर पाते या different spell होते हैं pronunciation different होती है just because they have a silent letter. उनमें silent letter होता है For example, if B is silent, so what? How we pronounce these words? Bomb, climb, calm, debt, doubt. Dumb, lamb, and etc. If G is silent, so how can we pronounce these words? Nat, no, Nash, sign, foreign, etc. If K is silent, so how we pronounce knee, kneel, knelt, now, new, known, knowledge, etc. Silent W, answer, who, rap, home, rack, wrist. Who's rat and etc. Is the page of your book page number twenty six. Now first we turn exercise A. Fill each space with the missing silent letters. We have to fill the space. The first is a very small bird. The last letters are R E N. So the first is W, and the pronunciation is ran. The second is a fairy who lives underground. So it is gnome. G is silent. Complete exercise A in your book. Now come to exercise B. Use your dictionary to help you find these words. We have to find the meanings in the dictionary. The first is a bone in the finger. We have to fill the last words. So the first is K N U. So the last are knuckle. K is silent, so we pronounce knuckle. The second is a fold or line in the skin. We have a word W R I, so the wrinkle. W is silent. The third topic is proper adjective, page number twenty-seven. So in this topic, we have to convert noun into adjective, but we have a noun of city names. So this is the page of your book, page number twenty-seven. First, we done exercise A. We have this type of page. First, we have a country and the adjective of a country: Britain, British, Canada, Canadian, England, English, Egypt, Egyptian, France, France, Germany, German, Ireland, Irish, Italy, Italian, Japan, Japanese, Russia, Russian, Scotland. Scottish, Wales, and Welsh. These are some adjectives. To exercise A, the Highlands of Scotland. We are talking about Scotland. So the adjective of Scotland is Scottish. So the answer is Scottish. The second is goods mean in Britain. We have a country, Britain. So the adjective is British. British goods. 
butter made in Ireland dash butter we are talking about Ireland so the adjective is Irish now complete this exercise in book we have to do the same in exercise B in this sentences we have a bold type letter so these are the country name so we have to write the adjectives the first is Britain imports large quantities of dash peaches so the country is Italy so the adjective of Italy is Italian the second is the travelers were stopped at the dash frontier the country is Germany so the adjective is German complete these two exercises in book